as I get a little bit older in my life, I start thinking about things like every birthday now. It's like, what what habit do I need to change? Because I'm at that age where some of those habits that I've had might have worked for me well when I was younger. But as I get a little older, I, I am concerned about you know heart-related illnesses and uh, arthritis and things like that. And of course, strokes. And you do not have to be an elderly person to actually uh, suffer from a stroke. And, and there are many, many different uh, things that can happen that can cause it. Here from Henry Mayo Newhall Memorial Hospital to talk about Stroke Awareness Month, there's Stroke Navigator and registered nurse Larisha Clark. Good morning. Good morning, George. Let's get you a little closer to the microphone there. Thank you for having me. Perfect. Um, so as you just mentioned, May is Stroke Awareness Month, and as part of our community awareness and outreach, uh, I wanted to just speak to the Santa Clarita community um, just to let everyone know uh, some of the signs and symptoms of stroke. Um, so some very common typical signs and symptoms you're looking at is um, numbness, and tingling on one side of the body typically, um, facial droop, slurred speech, um, confusion, trouble speaking. A lot of this is, is something that just happens suddenly. Uh, when it does happen, what we want the community to know is as soon as you have these symptoms, to come to the hospital as soon as possible. Because the sooner you arrive at the hospital, the better, because there is treatment available for ischemic strokes, which is uh, a blood clot in the brain. But um, patients have to present within a four and a half hour uh, from the time the symptoms started. Um, anything after that, we're just looking at more rehabilitation and uh, treatment to prevent further strokes. Um, so some of the risk factors that we're looking at, you know, if you have a history of hypertension, diabetes, uh, high cholesterol, um, if you're a smoker, that puts you at high risk. Um, any family history of strokes actually doubles your, your risk of having strokes. So if you have any of that and you have any of these symptoms, uh, definitely seek medical attention. Um, just an easy acronym that we use if you identify or you think someone's having a stroke is the FAST acronym. So F stands for face. Um, if you think someone's having a stroke, you ask them to smile. If they have a facial droop, that's a, that's a sign. Uh, you can have them, A stands for arms. You can have them raise both arms. If one arm drifts, that's an indication. Uh, and S for speech, ask them to repeat a simple phrase. If their speech is slurred, that's an indication that they could be having a stroke. And then T for time. Time is critical with stroke patients. Uh, and like I mentioned, the sooner you get to the hospital, the better the outcome. Um, and so, you know, obviously in order to prevent, what can we do to prevent strokes? Well, a lot of the times it's lifestyle modifications. So if, um, you know, obesity puts you at high risk, so maybe um, exercises, modifying the diet so we don't have um, you know, of foods that are high in cholesterol, um, doing definitely doing exercises, and then having your, your checkups on a regular basis. And Henry Mayo actually provides a, um, a health fair every quarter, so we actually have one coming up on May 13th at the Canyon, um, Canyon Country Community Center. So, you know, we have members of the community come in, we have RNs there um, where we check blood glucose, cholesterol, uh, blood sugars, kind of like a screening process. So it's a good um, you know, um, activity for the community to come in and participate in. And again, it's not necessarily, you don't have to be uh, on your way to being a senior citizen or being, as you mentioned off the air, people as young as 21 as and even young younger as, than you've seen. You're right, as young as 21. So it's happening, um, you know, to the to teenagers to actually babies in utero as well so strokes um, are very common and I know we're moving towards um, towards a process where it's not only just young um, uh, older people it's actually our younger generation as well and it doesn't have to be like something we talk about massive we always think like the really debilitative strokes but they could be something very very simple I just uh, when we were talking I recognized it was one of our uh, radio hosts, uh, one of our talk show hosts, uh, several months back that had actually realized he was having tingling in his fingers and a little bit having trouble like numbness in his tongue. And it was a very minor thing, but it was very, very correctable because they got in enough time. But that's the main thing in recovery too, right, is, is timing is critical, correct? Timing is critical. And, you know, what we tell, um, what we tell patients and family in the community as well, you know your body. And if you think and feel that something's wrong, go to the emergency room. 
um, because it can be something really subtle. And a lot of the times, um, there's also something called TIAs, which are transient ischemic attacks. So people will have symptoms uh, of numbness and tingling, or even slurred speech, or any of those stroke symptoms, but they tend to resolve within an hour to 24 hours. So in human nature, we're like, okay, the symptoms have gone, so I'm not going to seek medical attention. But it actually is critical because a TIA is actually a precursor to the big stroke. So how I like to explain it to patients and families, it's kind of like the mini earthquake. It's a precursor to the big one. Wow. So when you have a TIA, even though the symptoms resolve, you should seek medical attention because we can actually do a lot of tests and it's kind of diagnostic to see what was causing the TIA in the hope of preventing the big stroke. So keep yourself healthy and look for those signs. As you said, know your body, you know your body best, but uh, tingling fast is the good acronym. So, so let me see if I remember it. Face. Correct. Uh, arms. So if you lift your arms and one drifts. Uh, speech. So, correct. you know, say something like the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. I wanted to make sure I could speak because if I, if I tumble over that one. And then finally, T, time. Making sure that if any of those types of uh, symptoms uh, are, are manifesting themselves, Get in and get checked out of the emergency room as quick as possible. Perfect. Woohoo! Thank I you. I passed. <laughs> Lorinda, or Larisha, excuse me, thank you so much for stopping by and uh, talking about this Stroke Awareness Month at Henry Mayo Newhall Memorial Hospital. And uh, they could probably talk to you for more information as well. Right? Thank you, Josh. And we actually, um, we do have a lot of information on the henrymayo.com website, Perfect. so on strokes. And we have a stroke support group as well. Um, on the second Wednesday of every month. So if there is mem there are members of the community that need some support, we have that too. All right, well, thanks so much for stopping by.